brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Start by opening your hood and locating your master cylinder reservoir. You want to make sure that the fluid is topped off, otherwise add the appropriate fluid. Leave the cap off and start bleeding the brakes from the farthest corner to the master cylinder, in this case, the right rear. Use a drain bucket or similar catch pan under each corner of the vehicle to catch the brake fluid when you bleed. The rear brakes require an eight millimeter box end wrench to bleed. The bleeder screw is located at the top of the wheel cylinder for drum brakes, right on the back side of the backing plate here. Have your friend inside the car pump the pedal three times inform you when they're holding the pedal down, at which point you'll open the bleeder screw, wait for the fluid to stop coming out, close it, and have them pump the pedal again. Pump it up. When you have a steady stream of fluid with no air bubbles or burping, it's time to move on to the next farthest bleeder screw from the master cylinder, being the left rear. Repeat the process on the other side in the rear. Pump it up. Be sure to periodically check that your brake fluid isn't running low. Do not run the master cylinder out of brake fluid. Now we'll move on to the front right. On your front disc brakes, the bleeder screw will be located just above the brake hose on the back side of the caliper. The front brakes require a 10 millimeter box wrench to bleed. Repeat the same process you did in the rear. Pump it up. Our bleeder screw is plugged, but as long as we can get fluid out past the threads to release air, the bleeding process should still work. Finally, we'll bleed the left front. Pump it up. Again, our bleeder screw is clogged but as long as we can get fluid coming out, the bleed will work. When you've finished bleeding, make sure your brake fluid is topped off. Reinstall the cap. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.